Hello everybody, I'm Davey. Today I'm sharing with you how I decorated my kitchen in a natural, rustic, and cottage style for the Christmas season. This is a collab with Danielle over at Homemade Vintage. She has been doing a Christmas Decorate With Me series for quite some time here, showing you like almost each room of her house and how she's decorated different areas. Um, so I'm excited to be collabing with her because she's also decorating her kitchen for this Christmas season. And so definitely go check out her channel if you have not. If you're coming from her channel, I'm so glad you're here. I do videos like these, simple and thrifted living, homemaking, and motherhood. So I'm just gonna share how I have decorated my kitchen. So I'm actually gonna start with my table. We do have a table in our kitchen. Um, it was a Facebook Marketplace find table and the chairs were gifted to us from my parents. Um, and so I just hung two little wreaths on the chairs with some Dollar Tree ribbon and the wreaths were free, honestly. And then on the table, I went really, really simple with my tablescape or centerpiece. I just used a vintage blue mason jar that I found, of course, rummaging. And then I put some fresh cranberries in there with water and then a fresh sprig of pine and then some pine cones around it for my backyard. In the linen piece, the cloth was a free find at a garage sale this summer. So, so simple, affordable, just something you can find and do um, very easily. And then I'm going to move to my shelves over here and then my countertop and just kind of share how I've decorated it and what I've done. So on my little shelves, I have on the bottom shelf my rock that holds my essential oils in it like the ones I'm using for this season and then a vintage plate that is just really cute winter scene that I found thrifting last year. On the second shelf I have a faux sprig of greenery. I did use real and faux um, mixed in here in my kitchen and then I also have just a vintage pitcher that I found again thrifting on the top, this is a fun little DIY I did. I found this little tree at Dollar Tree for a dollar, and then I have this crock and I just put it in some floral foam and I put pine cones on top around it, and then just put a um, little bit of twinkle lights on it that I found on Amazon several years ago. So this is really simple and just really rustic looking, and I love it. On my counter, I use my diffuser daily, so I have that there with a couple of my favorite Christmassy holiday season scents, and then again, a faux piece of greenery. And now to my little cocoa station. During the season, this Christmas season, I decided to make a little simple cocoa station, and I'll be doing a video on Friday actually about how I did that, so I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail, but just used a free crate that I had found years and years ago, put some um, ingredients like the cocoa mix, cinnamon nutmeg in little jars, marshmallows, um, peppermint sticks, you know, just little things like that to make it very Christmas thing. And using ribbon, because ribbon really spruces things up to make it look very festive. And then just put um, my little coffee maker there that we have for a single cup if someone wanted that. And it's right below our coffee covered anyways but usually i have a very very bare countertop i don't like a whole lot but you know it is the holiday season and who doesn't drink cocoa during this time of year but anyways then in the corner this scale i hadn't used on display for two years because i didn't know what to do with it it was just really rusty and i found this scale for eight dollars at goodwill years ago I just put some fresh sprigs of greenery of course, I use these little Christmas balls too. I have to mention those. They're from the Dollar Tree a couple years ago. And I just love that little pop of red and gold. And then these vintage Christmas glass jars. And you'll see them throughout my decor and the rest of my home as well. But I just filled it with fresh pine cones from my backyard and those Christmas balls. So a really simple counter space. And then of course, oranges are very easy and natural way to decorate because they are so in season right now and just so fresh and a pop of color under a thrifted red and white napkin. And then a sprig of greenery 
really simple on my soap dispenser, nothing much there. And again, on the other side of my sink, just a sprig of greenery. Again, a blue mason jar, berries. Um, it's just, I love the simple natural element because it's just very affordable then too. And then just a little $2 um, Lewis Drug Store uh, towel that I actually found this year. I just liked the red and green trees. So, okay, over my doorway are French doors leading to our backyard. This greenery, it's two of them actually. I tied them together, they're from Walmart. And I love the fresh look, even though they're faux with the pine cones, I definitely would recommend using these. They were $15 a piece, but I think they're a good investment. And I just like how it looks. I used to have that, you know, kind of cheapy, um, garland on there that just you know, didn't even look real at all and so I liked this look because since I mixed in fresh and faux I wanted to look a little bit more real and then the evening the lights are just so beautiful glowing around our doorway there and honestly then I didn't decorate a whole lot on our Berkey water stand where we have our filter there um, we actually moved my mail over to that side we have just a little mail center and then I do happen to have these stockings throughout my house too. I miss mentioning that over my sink, but I think it's so beautiful with, again, some greenery in it. And over here by the filter, I have a stocking with greenery in it and then my tobacco basket and our clock. And I just really love the simple neutral collage that that gives this a sense of a little festivity and winter, but not overkill. So that is my kitchen really for this Christmas season. I had so much fun decorating it and so much fun collabing with Danielle. So I hope you check out her channel. I hope you found a little inspiration to decorate your kitchen for this Christmas season as well. It's so fun to just add little touches here and there and it doesn't have to be a lot really just to make things more Christmassy and um, enjoyable for the holiday time. So I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and I'll talk with you in my video on Friday.